Okay. Okay, I hear you. No, man. What's up with y'all, man? We all be drunk. You hear me? Happy Memorial Day. You feel me? Happy Memorial Day. You know what I'm saying? And I guess in that holiday is good, you know what I'm saying? Because you get off work. But most of the time, guess what? You don't get off work. Most of the time, you have to work on the holiday. Most of the time, it be the busiest time at your job. You know what I'm saying? That's all my lucky people out there. They actually get a day off at the banks and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we close. It's a holiday. You know what I'm saying? Now, I also like to have a moment of silence for all the people that did die for this country. I said country. Country. It's way less die for uh, their rights. You know what I'm saying? Because guess what? The people that write the stories it's the people that won the war. You know what I'm saying? So the people that won the war could be liars, but you won't know it because the people that lost, I did. But in any, in any occasion, I just want to have a moment of silence for all the fallen soldiers, you know what I'm saying? Because that's why we got these freedoms, baby. That's why we got these freedoms, man. We got to make sure that we, you know what I'm saying, keep these freedoms because they're trying to take it right from under our nose, bro. You see me, every time they pass a legislation, they don't tell nobody when they finna pass these voting laws. That's why people trying to bust in the door, see what's going on up in there. Moment of silence. Yeah, man. But like I was saying, shout out to all everybody who gave their life up so I can be right here right now. You see me? Now, First of all, I want to talk about uh something I was talking about with my family the other late other day, right? They said, uh, I told them, what if it get to a point with these vaccinations, right? That we got to um uh, our job gonna start vaccinating us. Or it's gonna be mandatory for you to get vaccinated to even go to work. You know what I'm saying? What if they do that? Then what you gonna do? For everybody that said they ain't gonna get vaccinated, you know what I'm saying? I was one of those people because I don't know where this vaccination came from. You barely know to tell me to wear a mask or not. You know what I'm saying? You don't know nothing about this virus. So how in the world are you supposed to believe you when you say this vaccine is supposed to work? You feel me? You only know it worked because a lot of people ain't dying from the vaccine. They might be having side effects. I'm just saying, man. Uh, 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 what do y'all think about if you try to go to work and they tell you, look, they go a paper to go to our medical facility, you feel me, and get vaccinated. Now, if you don't want to get vaccinated, talk to your manager. You know when they tell you to talk to your manager, uh, <laughs> they, uh, what's up, Tasha? They say, uh, usually when they say talk to your manager, guess what? You finna get fired. You did. Usually. You know what I'm saying? Now, what I don't understand is how you gonna make me take a vaccine. You know what I'm saying? How you gonna make me? You gonna hold my arm down and stick me in my arm like uh, uh, the heroin addicts? You feel me? I don't think so. Give me my arm back. Now, just like back in the day when they had to have the uh, immunization, immunization for you to transfer to schools and whatnot, you know what I'm saying? I guess it's similar, but the fact that this just came, <clears throat> that's why we don't trust it, you know what I'm saying? The fact that you don't even know nothing about it, barely, but you can tell us that the vaccine is my best help for survival. How you know? How do you know? How can I believe you when 
uh, uh, the former president had said pretty much went against his own doctor that was creating the goddamn vaccine. What the hell? Ooh, that shit good. Yes, Lord Jesus. Got me a little tea, man. You know what I'm saying? Got keep that immune system strong. You did. Everybody out here eat McDonald's every day. You feel me? Smoking a pack a day. You feel me? Guess what? You finna have cold all up in your chest. Wonder why you got cold in your chest? Because you ain't eating healthy. Listen, you can't expect to drink every day. You know what I'm saying? Is it a holiday every day? I understand you want to relax. You feel me? But if you look at history, alcohol is really just a, a pause. That's it. Pause. Pause on yourself. And you get woozy, which is drunk, because you're drinking too much pores. And you feel me? And we kills no one. It actually helps open up that third eye, man. You know what I'm saying? Have you seen better? You know what I'm saying? Through the matrix and all that other bullshit that they be telling us on the news. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I had to. I felt like I had to come up with my own platform, the What If Podcast, you know what I'm saying? Because we deal with the hypothetical, you know what I'm saying? Because my imagination is incredible, you see me? And uh, most of the time, the shit that you imagine happen is the motherfucking truth, you know what I'm saying? Now, let's talk about the ocean. I know, I know, sounds crazy, right? Now, I don't like the ocean. I like to look at it. Yes, I do. You know what I'm saying? I like to look at the little fishes under the water. I actually, I love catfish. You know what I'm saying? I like shrimp. I like the stuff that come out the water to eat. You feel me? But we don't know nothing about the water, bro. 90% of it, we don't even know nothing about. Don't that make you nervous? Godzilla could literally come out the ocean. And we wouldn't know he come. You know what I'm saying? You know why? Because we don't know nothing about the ocean. You got something to fight Godzilla? Because I don't. You know what I'm saying? Now, we might not have Godzilla. But I'll tell you one thing we do got. Apparently. There was uh, aliens. That's what we do got. Aliens. Not the coming of the alien. <laughs> like myself. Yeah, man. Bro, they had shit swarming around naval warships. Now, I don't know too many things that's going to swarm around a warship, you know what I'm saying, without being scared. And then they said it just disappeared in, back into the water. Splash, you hear me? Now, I don't know about you. But if I seen a spaceship, a uh, 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 supposedly spaceship, supposed to win in the ocean, guess what? I'm starting to try to make a submarine that can go deeper into the ocean. Because the reason we can't go into the ocean is because there's too much pressure down there and it'll blow our head up. You feel me? Now that, of course, we don't want our head to blow up. All I'm saying is, Y'all just gonna let the aliens live down there? What if our head blowing up because they shooting a pressure gun at us? Because they don't want us down there, bro. And then they coming up, they, they, they tired of hiding. They coming up out of the ocean, bro. And they swarming around you if you get too close to their house. They're like, who is this? Driving over our house, man. Go check it out. You feel me? So all I'm saying is, I haven't actually seen the alien, but they're starting to show us all these spaceships, you know what I mean? That seem to be under the ocean. Why they don't think the alien is just under the ocean, bro? Listen, I don't want to disturb you aliens, I don't. But what you can't be doing is uh just popping up out of nowhere, swarming around our warships like we won't shoot a missile down there, bro. You think we won't nuke the water? We crazy. We would nuke a water. Now we ain't got no fresh water. You know what I'm saying? 
So I hope they don't nuke the water because then we're gonna be drinking them uh eating them three-eyed fish that was on the Simpsons. You hear me? I know y'all remember that shit. That shit was crazy. But yeah, man, shit is crazy, bro. Stay out the water. That's my advice. You know what I'm saying? Stay out the water. Why? Why? Because whatever down there is definitely what? Tripping. Now, speaking of tripping, I heard about this story about uh this 82-year-old man in Austria, right? You know what I'm saying? Now, he had some health problems, health issues, you dig? where he had to get one of his legs amputated. You know what I mean? Of course, everybody, as soon as they see my leg finna get cut out, they think about Big Mama on Soul Food, you did. <laughs> but yeah, man, he went to the hospital, finna get one of his legs amputated. Now, before I continue with this story, what is the worst case scenario if you go into the hospital to get your leg cut off. You are getting your leg cut off. So that's already bad enough. You know what I mean? But what would be the worst case scenario? Hmm. The worker slash premature nurse seemed to have marked the wrong leg. Bruh, how you marked the wrong leg, bruh? They cut the wrong leg out, bruh. What the hell, bruh? How a person going to a hospital? I already got to get one leg cut off. You know what I'm saying? I'm, you know diabetes, you just taking limbs like it ain't nothing. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, side note, I did not know it was sugar in literally everything. Everything, bro. I did not know. Pasta with sugar. Uh, 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 bread is sugar. Uh, 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 rice is sugar. You feel me? And then I put sugar in my rice. You know what I'm saying? So I'm doubly killing myself. You feel me? We are all sugar junkies. That's what I'm starting to realize. You know what I'm saying? Sugar is in everything, bro. Sauces, uh, burgers, probably. Literally everything. So if our body's already used to having sugar and everything, guess what? If we stop eating uh, 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 goddamn sugar, we're going to have a withdrawal and damn near have a stroke. You feel me? So it's a thin line between diabetic and stroke, pretty much. And black people is the worst because we born with high blood pressure, damn near. Because they put hot sauce on everything since we was born. What we gonna do? We like hot chicken, hot sauce, jalapeno. I remember back in the day, you go to churches and you had that one green jalapeno. Bruh, that shit was fire. Fire. But yeah, man, I'm not sure what this man did after they cut off the wrong leg. All I know is now he has no legs. So guess what? He don't stand the chance. <laughs> Better bite a motherfucker, man. They got you fucked up, man. Sue the hospital and get your legs back. Get some bionic legs, you heard me? You know what I'm saying? Get some solid gold legs on these bitches. Y'all want to cut off the wrong leg? Oh, yeah. You want to cut off the wrong leg? Guess what? Gold leg, bitch. What if I get all diamond? Diamond leg, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Cut off my wrong leg. My, uh, all right. All right. The Cochrane Fern is coming for your ass. You feel me? Guilty. That's what they're going to say. That's exactly what they're going to say. Moving on, man. You know what I'm saying? Sue they ass. I tell you somebody who else needs to sue. Motherfucking 
Dominique motherfucking Wilkins. You feel me? Nigga. It's Dominique Wilkins. How in the world Dominique Wilkins go to a restaurant and they won't let Dominique Wilkins in because he ain't dressed right. Or so they say <laughs> that he won't dress right. You feel me? Dominique Wilkins, bro. He Dominique Wilkins, bro. He was dunking from the free throw line when you was a baby. You feel me? So pretty much is a staple in ATL. You know what I'm saying? You must be a young whippersnapper to even, uh, uh, you must be recognize him or something. You got to be a young whippersnapper. You know what I'm saying? Because I wouldn't do Dominique Wilkins like that, bro. To my son, your dress code and all this here. But you got to have on church shoes, bro. So now I can't go to a restaurant if I ain't got on church shoes. Is that right? Excuse me if I think every time I see church shoes, I think we're going to church. You know what I'm saying? Makes sense. Church shoes, right? Every time I see church shoes, I think somebody's going to start shouting any minute now. You say I'm underdressed? Do I have to have on a tuxedo? You know what I'm saying? Of course, the dude was white, man. Racism, you would think it went out of style, man. It never was in style, man. But people being racist just seemed like people just be wanting to get choked. You know what I'm saying? Why are you, why are you acting like you better than me just because you're a different color? You got VIP scheme? Is that what's going on? But if you soon as you step in the sun, why the sun don't respect your VIP skin? The sun burn you the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? To the point where you got to put a layer of fucking cream on your ass. You know what I'm saying? Looking like a pig in a blanket almost. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man. So of course, this shit went viral when the restaurant would not let Dominique Wilkins in. And pretty much, he was saying, man, look, this place is being racist, pretty much. Why? If anything, if Dominique Wilkins come in there, bro, it's going to draw more attention to the restaurant and bring more money to that junk. You know what I'm saying? So all I'm saying just don't make no sense. No sense at all. Start making some sense, man. Start showing respect to the ledges, man. Shout out to Dominique Wilkins, man. Fuck that restaurant. Bruh. Why in the world? What's going on with these masks, bro? Do y'all wear masks still? Now I wear masks just so. Uh, uh, people be coming in there coughing and shit, you know what I'm saying? I already don't cover your mouth. You can tell who smoke cigarettes because they be coughing like they lung is finna be gone. You know what I'm saying? All I'm saying is if you're already coughing a lot, you probably already needed a mask. You know what I'm saying? If you was coughing a lot, you probably already needed a mask. That's all I'm saying. That's God telling you you know what? You probably need to stop smoking cigarettes. Because if you can't breathe, you're going to die. You know what I'm saying? You need oxygen. Guess what take oxygen? Cigarettes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All up in here. All up in here. Now you got a mask on. Now you try to put your mask right here because you know you can't breathe. You're coughing. You got to take your mask off the spit. You can't really spit. Listen. We don't need your corona spit all over the place, all right? But all I'm saying is, the people that's not wearing masks, other people are reacting like um, they saving lives, bro. Strangers just walk up to you. Can't you put your mask on, ma'am? Or people that work at somewhere. Can't you put your mask on, ma'am? How you doing, Sister Pat? Can't you put your mask on, ma'am? Can't you put your mask on, sir? 
Now, when they encountering these strangers about these masses, you don't know how crazy these people is. It's a reason why they don't got a mask on. Because they don't give a care about the news, about the president, especially about you. So you coming out, no mask on. Employee like, oh, excuse me, man. You gotta put a mask on. Of course, they gonna act like they don't hear you. They gonna walk right past, get what they need, get to the counter, think they finna purchase. I can't tell you the frustration I had when I forgot my mask in the car. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to buy some. She's talking about something. I can't ring you up if you ain't got a mask on. I bought a mask at the counter. I said, do y'all see a mask then? Let me go and buy one right here so I can ring my shit up. Because if I have to go back out to the cop and grab my mask right quick, I ain't coming back in. I'm going to give you my business, folks. You know what I'm saying? Even though you're just doing your job. Now, me being a civilized person, I just bought a mask. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I might have had a little attitude, but I still bought a mask. Got my product and left. You feel me? Everybody ain't as civilized as me. Because the stories that I'm talking about, people seem to be getting stabbed. Stabbed. Somebody got stabbed, bro, over a mask. Don't touch me. As soon as you start trying to put people out, now you assaulting them. Now they want to stab you over a mask, bro. Listen, your life. It's worth so much more. You feel me? Your life is precious. Okay. If they ask you to put a mask on, please just put a mask on. And for the employees out there that's telling you to put a mask on, do not approach these people. If they can't please put a mask on. If they don't put one on, go get your manager. You feel me? Because if you go over there, you're liable to get stabbed like this person did. You feel me? Please stop all this tripping, bro. Tripping, tripping. Now, <laughs> in other news, you feel me? I heard about this. I had to stop because, of course, if you have worked in a fast food restaurant, like I have, I've been at a lot of McDonald's, Burger King, Taco Bell. I, man, I think I worked in damn near all the fast food restaurants because I wanted to eat free, pretty much. All them places. I was burning them up, you feel me? To the point where that's why I don't even like fast food like that no more, cause I done ate it for so long, you feel me? But uh, yeah, man. So every time I was working at a fast food restaurant, if somebody happened to rob me, thank the Lord, I never got robbed at a fast food restaurant, you feel me? But if somebody was to come in and rob, the procedure is to give them the money so they can get the hell on. Give them the money so they can get the hell on, all right? What you don't want to do is turn into Batman and say, no, you can't have the money, sir. Get out of here before I give you a Batman chop, you hear me? Bruh. That man said no, and guess what the robber did? You guessed it, shot him. Put him in the hospital, you heard me? What did you think was gonna happen, bro? If they come in to get the money, and you don't wanna give them the money, and they got a gun, that's why they brought the gun. Just in case you don't wanna give me the money, I'm going to show you why you should give me the money. This is my persuasion. Okay? Do you see the persuasion, sir? No? You see, you sure? You sure you don't want to give me the money? All right? Bye, bye, bye. Straight like that. That's how it happened, bro. You know what I'm saying? What's up, Grandma? Anyway, if you are at a fast food restaurant, if you know somebody at a fast food restaurant, please tell them to give up the money, all right? 
The money is not worth your life. You are not. Matter of fact, you act like McDonald's when you got hired. You act like they said, uh, hey man, you gotta get into a McDonald's gang or something. You know what I'm saying? You gotta die for this here. If you're gonna work at McDonald's, you gotta die for this here. If somebody try to rob you, you die for these Sasha biscuits. You understand me? If somebody wants some Big Macs, you die. I don't care. Whatever they want out of here. And then you go in the back and then you get a McDonald's tattoo on your chest. Is this how hard people are going? Give up the money, man. Please give up the money. Yeah. Joker got shot. Joker got shot. Do not refuse to give money to a robber. That's a bad idea, all right? Anyway, speaking of robbers, you hear me? In the UK, you got some burglars that had the worst luck ever, right? Just imagine you was a burglar, right? You in that thing, ah, ah, ah. robbing them, you feel me? Jewelry store or something, diamonds, you know what I'm saying? You got baguettes, you got them paddocks, you hear me? Next thing you know, you ain't lock your phone though, right? Imagine butt dialing the police while you robbing. Exactly, unbelievable. Look, that's why I had to bring it up because it had to be God, man, for you to butt dial the police. Why you robbing? God said, that should not steal. You feel me? So guess what? Ah, why you doing all that jumping over the counter? God said, nine. <laughs> Jumped over the other counter. One. Ah, ooh, this necklace. One. You hear me? Next thing you know, you think you finna have a smooth getaway? Nah, my brother. We got you. How did y'all know I was robbed? You called us. How you call the co police on yourself? That's all I'm saying. Had to be God. You know what I'm saying? Now, he learning his lesson, and he's thinking about it. Next time, guess what? He won't bring his cell phone. I bet you that. Because actually, the cell phone is how they catch you. Because if you use the cell phone, it's gonna bounce off of a towel. It's gonna bounce off your ass right into the motherfucking jailhouse. All right. Stop taking, stop taking all these phones everywhere. You know what I'm saying? They are tracking devices. Yes, yes, tracking devices. <laughs> Folks is tripping out here. You know what I'm saying? Bruh, they can't get no words for him. All I'm saying is, my brother, I know you in jail right now. In the UK, let me see if I can get a UK accent. Pip, pip, cheerio. Is that it? Pip, pip. Listen here. Listen here. You shouldn't have been robbing. Now you're in jail. Pity, pity. Oh, I hate that be a pity, pity. They say. <laughs> anyway, bruh, can you picture? Being in your high school graduation, right? You remember your high school graduation? You feel me? I don't, because I ain't graduate. Yes, exactly. <laughs> but can you picture at your high school graduation? Uh, Eric Williams. Oh, thank you for my diploma. You feel me? You go down. Next thing you know, you got a guy called uh, Metro Mars, right? And he is in the Migos camp. He is a rapper. You feel me? This joker. Now, first of all, I ain't know they was getting them that young to the point before they even graduate. But anyway, good job, young brother. You know what I'm saying? This joker made it rain $10,000 while he was walking across the stage, bro. Lord Jesus. You know what? If they made it rain, 
at every high school graduation. I bet you everybody will graduate. <laughs> What's up with your body? My bad. Uh, uh, I was just talking about how dude made it rain at the graduation. You feel me? If they made it rain every time at a graduation, guess what? Everybody will graduate every time. No problem. No problem. You feel me? This man made it rain at the graduation, bro. Come on, man. You already know most of them high school students are already uh, uh, kind of lifted. You feel me? And they need that money, bro. So you know they're picking up all the money. And of course, here come the haters. You know everybody got them teachers or their police that be at their school that's really just an asshole. You know what I'm saying? You know who I'm talking about. You know who I'm talking about. I think at Michigan they had the white uh, post fat police officer. You feel me? But uh, <laughs> the white chick, you hear me? But all I'm saying is she didn't ever catch nobody. And we always hated because she was snitching and messing up our smoking spot behind the gym. You feel me? They jacked this young brother up because he made it rain. Since when is it a crime to make it rain? He ain't hurt nobody. He ain't hurt nobody, bro. Who he hurt? Who he hurt, bro? He helping. He giving y'all really ideas what to start doing at the graduation for morale. Money deals morale. You feel me? They already going to college. They ain't even had no money. They probably finna have to work at Chick-fil-A as soon as they get to college. You know what I'm saying? Make it rain, young brother. They incited this brother because he they say he was trying to start a riot. Why they always say that, bro? It's like we can't even burn, it can't be five black people dancing in. In a crowd without inciting the riot. We is not rioting, bro. We having fun, bro. Stop being so goddamn scary. How about that? You know what I'm saying? To my son, we having the riot. No, we having fun. This is uh 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 the South, you know what I'm saying? Home of Tata Club, you know what I'm saying? ATL, home of uh uh Lil John. Come on, bro. Represent your click, you heard? Make it rain. Now, of course, I already know they got them stay out, but that's not cool, man. Y'all shouldn't have been putting this young brother in handcuffs already. That's going to make people want to destroy y'all school or attack the teachers. That's all I'm saying, man. That's all I'm saying. Chill out. You know what I'm saying? Y'all doing too much. If you're throwing some money, just, just calm them back down and be like, all right, man, chill out. You know what I'm saying? Ain't haters, man. Haters. Now, they should let that happen. Now, uh, this is what they shouldn't have let happen, though. You know what I'm saying? Because recently, I had seen uh, in Texas. Did y'all hear about this in Texas? They have just approved to let everybody carry a gun without a permit. Lord Jesus. How in the world is you going to just let anybody carry a gun without a permit? You damn near finna have 10 year olds carrying guns without permits, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. What the hell? Guns is killing everybody. How many times y'all see a man shoot? Then they every week ain't a man. What the hell is going on? What the hell is going on? You know what I'm saying? Anybody can carry a gun in Texas, bro. I can't believe. It. Hold on, Marks. I've been tell. I've been let you say hey to him right quick. Cause I don't want to be around when I'm talking about guns. You know what I'm saying?
Alyssa, stop texting me right quick. Around here, come on, come right here. There they go. Uh huh. You gotta stand up. They can't see you. You can't see yourself. See? There you go. There you go for fat. Say hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Look, look, look. You see? Say, hey, Marcus. Hey, Marcus. How you doing? How you doing? What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Um, Deuce. Deuce, what's your name? Alyssa. Alyssa. Say, hey. Hey. Say, I'll see you later. See you later. Maybe keep the pots here. All right, for fact. I'm going to go back and get the stats, all right? Yay. I love y'all. Be, be. Keep it down, right? All right. Hey. Yeah, man, they're my babies, man. You know what I'm saying? Love them, love them. But like I was saying, bruh, how's you gonna just have people with no permits in Texas, bruh? Everybody just carrying the gun. They let you know something is, is coming. You know what I'm saying? So if you don't have a gun, you might need to go buy one. Because Texas is racking up right now. The whole state. You feel me? Now, I don't want a civil war, but it sure looks like they're getting ready for one. That's all I'm saying. Nobody got to have a permit. Why you think we're having all these mass shootings, man? That's, that's messed up. People just wake up one day and just go to work and kill eight people. What is it? That ain't nothing but the devil, man. You know what I'm saying? You represent God over here, man. You can keep all that devil, demon, demonic stuff over there. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, just blur it out. Help them, Lord. You know what I'm saying? Because they definitely need mental help. You did. Something ain't right. Something is not right. Now, uh, uh, uh. <sighs> Moving on. Something also was not right. Not what I had seen the other day, right? You know what I'm saying? Because y'all know it's a playoff. It's the playoffs. And Westbrook is in full effect until he had hurt his ankle, man. Come on, bro. Yeah, man. So Westbrook hurt his ankle. He limping off the court. Now, I don't know if it, it was some kind of opening above where a fan had dumped popcorn on his head. You feel me? Now, <laughs> now the popcorn, when the popcorn hit him, I don't even lie, he act like some salt got in his eye. You feel me? Like, what the word? Because <laughs> he reacted like he wanted to kill the fan. All of a sudden, his ankle looked like it just stopped hurting. You know what I'm saying? Because that boy like this here. Man, it took like five, it took like four, five people to restrain his brother. That's all I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Now, they did uh, 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 eject the uh, fan from the game. But all I'm saying is, that boy was way too mad. Way too mad. You know what I'm saying? Now, don't get me wrong. The fan, I, I always feel like the fans, uh, 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 they just can't be getting away with anything. You know what I'm saying? You got these players that's essentially million dollar athletes, and you just want to post some popcorn on me, bro. I'm worth a million dollars, bro. This is a million dollar ankle, bro. This is a million dollar eyeball, bro. That you get just got salty in, bro. Now I'm gonna show you. You know what I'm saying? So they had to stop him. Because Westbrook, uh, uh, he get like three, uh, uh, 600 triple doubles a game. So, of course, he got the energy 
to stomp this fan out until he run out of breath. You feel me? So to all the fans out there, man, y'all need to be very aware. And remember when uh who it was? Uh I think it was the Pacers when the Pacers came in the stands and started beating up the beating up the fans. You hear me? Yeah, man. It was going down. Uh, there was metal rare piece was uh yeah knocking them out. O'Neal, Stephen Jackson, I think you hear me. It was going down. So I th- I would have thought that they would do something to keep that from happening again. You know what I mean? I guess they did. Even with the coronavirus, and then the people have been in the house so long. Now they finally getting out the house. And this is what they want to do. You don't appreciate the NBA. That would sound like, why is you, why is you so mad? Why is you pouring popcorn on me, bro? And you just pay for a ticket. You must want me to put you in the head a lot. You feel me? You mad because you're losing? That's really what it is. He must be losing. Westbrook must be losing. And the dude, he, the dude must just lost his girlfriend or something in quarantine. You feel me? Because pouring popcorn, bro, that, that ain't going to end. That ain't going to end where, even if it's soft popcorn. He might have thought, oh, oh, you think I'm soft? Because you pouring popcorn on me, bro? Bro, I think soft got in his eye, bro. He wants to kill. He see nothing but real. <laughs> and ain't not just because of the salt. You hear me? Ooh, that's good. Now, we're going to pray for what's best, book. Russell West Brook. That boy, that boy got a tongue twister name, man, man. Russ Westbrook. Russ Westbrook. Russ Westbrook. What the hell? Anyway, I'm going to pray for Russ Westbrook. You feel me? Fans, please stop because these folks work out every day when they're not playing the game. You don't think they can beat the hell out of you? That's going to beat the hell out of you, bro. You think you just throw something at people on the basketball court and you don't think they can just jump over the chairs, bro? You right there. You are right there. You know what I'm saying? What's up with your mom? All I'm saying is, leave these folks alone when they playing in the playoffs, bro. You can't be throwing popcorn on people. Or you're going to get what they got last time when they was in the paces. They beat up everybody, bro. Can you imagine LeBron punching somebody? LeBron's going to hit about three people, bro. Can you imagine Anthony Davis hitting somebody? Y'all better leave these players alone, man. They lifting every day. It ain't no fence to protect you from the NBA players. They don't care about getting the fine. You feel me? They don't care. They care about getting their lick back. If you ever get hit, you revert back to a child. Your mama probably always told you, if they hit you, hit them back. You feel me? Get your lick back. You feel me? And that's just the rules. So he felt like he had to get his lick back. And they would not let him get his lick back. God damn it. Now, speaking of basketball, uh, now I know look, uh, uh, Westbrook is in the playoffs, right? But uh, that's the final stages of the NBA. You know what I'm saying? Now, the Rwandan basketball team league is in the beginning stages. Basketball league just started. You feel me? And as I told you last podcast, J. Cole was playing on the team. I said, this nigga is on the basketball team. This nigga created a whole league 
and on the team. But I got some bad news, guys. He already resigned from the basketball team. You feel me? I don't understand. Now, it was for a, a family obligation. You know what I'm saying? Now, me, I understand because family is everything. And if being in this basketball league was going to prevent him from doing something to help his family, then I understand. You can't, you can't do it. You did what you did. You can say you did it. At least you can say you did it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people out here just talking about what they going to do. You hear me? Next month, I'm going to do it. I promise you. I got almost, I bought all my stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'm just waiting. You know what I'm saying? I'm still writing it down on paper. Man, look, if it ain't no action, guess what? It's always going to be down on paper. You feel me? So I commend you, J. Cole, for at least doing it. You did that. You know what I'm saying? I don't care if you didn't score no points. You feel me? You did it. You was out there professional. With professionals, you feel me? Acting professional. <laughs> you you want no LeBron or nothing? You know what I'm saying? More like a uh, well, we don't say more more like a what? You know what I'm saying? But good job, man. You had to do what you had to do. You got in, you got out. You know what I'm saying? Gave a lot of uh, what it was publicity to uh, the African League. If they put it on TV, I might be watching that junk. They might be doing. And one dunk, you feel me? You never know. They might have uh, uh, monkeys come out or something, at the, at the uh, zebras or something, come out uh, on the halftime. Matter of fact, they might have. You remember uh, Coming to America? When they had all them Africans came out there doing this shit? That what they might have at the goddamn halftime show, you feel me? Now, I don't know if they're gonna be shooting them little <coughs> unless they shoot them darts. How you gonna shoot a dart and hit the basketball? You feel me? <laughs> What's up with you, Kim folk? What's up, Felicia? Yeah, man. They have darts at the African Basketball League. You know what I'm saying? Now what you don't want, you know what? What if? If was the field, we all be drunk. What if they had gorillas on the halftime show dunking that bitch? <laughs> Damn! Hey, bro. <laughs> hey, bro. My bad, child. Siri just be picking up my voice and thought I had asked for something. But uh, yeah, man. What if they had gorillas on the basketball team and they was dunking that shit? Nigga, who can hold a gorilla, bro? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like this shit. Bouncing it with their head or some shit. Blink, blink, blink. <sighs> Nigga, I ain't finna hold no gorilla. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. It ain't gonna work out. It ain't gonna work out. But shout out to the African Basketball League. You know what I'm saying? I hope y'all grow. You feel me? I hope y'all grow. And, and shout out to the WNBA, man. Look, we sorry. We sorry that we don't be watching, all right? We just think y'all should change our outfit just a little bit. Just a little bit. We ain't really into the basketball shorts on females. You know what I'm saying? Now y'all switch them to biking shorts. You switch them basketball shorts to biking shorts, and I guarantee you, you're going to get some little criticism. But I guarantee you them numbers gonna go straight up. You feel me? Straight up, straight up, straight up and down. You feel? You ain't gonna need that to start dunk. You ain't gonna have to dunk it out. But uh, yeah, man. I want to get a, a, a move on to something that had threw me off a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Just cause I'm not familiar with it. You know what I mean? Now. Y'all all know about A-Rod recently. I guess you can say got his girl took by being athlete. 
Then Affleck just came out the motherfucking woodwork. I T made Batman. He said, "You know what? I can get a, I can get a back, bro. You know what I'm saying? And look, I ain't saying he got a back, but I'm saying they did break up the engagement. You feel me? Now I don't really give two fucks about that. You know what I'm saying? What I do or what did concern me is that a Rod." Right after you lost your girl, you came out with a makeup line for men. Makeup line for me? Makeup line for me? Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Bruh, please don't start wearing makeup. Nah, maybe I'm just ignorant. I didn't know men wore makeup. You know what I'm saying? Maybe because I ain't been in like on TV because uh, uh, once they start having interviews about people that be on TV, they be like, you got to put on some makeup so the light won't be shining. You know what I'm saying? Because you be sweating. You feel me? So they don't want to see the sweat. So they got to put a little makeup on you. That's Even that sound kind of crazy. You know what I'm saying? Even when you explain it to me, I'm still going to be like, nah, bro, I'm good. Just give me a sweat towel or something. You feel me? <laughs> yeah, man. Hey. Hey. Do you. You know what I'm saying? Do you. All I'm saying is, why woman stuff can't be woman stuff and man can't be man stuff. Now y'all trying to mix everything together, you know what I'm saying? Make everything unisex, everybody going in the same restroom, and y'all wonder why it's mad shootings and motherfucking children everywhere. What is going on, bro? Bro, listen. Seems like we are in Solid and Gomorrah. You know what I'm saying? And we just dodging shit now. You know what I'm saying? So we just gotta censor what we looking at or, or or we know it's out there. So it's like, in my mind, it's kind of like, I ain't gonna say you're an alien, but that's kind of how I take it. You know what I'm saying? If I don't understand something, I just consider you an alien to me. You know what I'm saying? So A-Rod, the alien, hey man, get your money, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I just don't understand. Maybe the people, maybe the people with the pimples and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Maybe they need makeup. I don't know. But uh yeah, my last uh my last topic is uh recently Joe Biden. He recently signed a bill on Asian hate. Hmm. Now, I ain't got nothing against Asians getting justice, but how you just skip over all the black people that just been getting murdered and murdered and murdered and robbed and robbed and robbed and redlined and redlined and redlined and, redlined and uh, uh, defaming character, blaming folks for rapes that ain't never happened. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'd be confused why they be jumping over us, bro. What about the black hate? You know what I'm saying? We've been having Black Lives Matter for the longest. Why they ain't signed nothing then about black hate? Can I get an answer for that? All of a sudden, Asian hate bill get, get signed. It's all good for the Asians, huh? Not good for us. It's cool to kill us. It's cool to beat us up. But as soon as you touch the age, it's a problem. That don't make sense to me. That don't make sense to nobody. You know what I'm saying? Pretty much, I feel like it's just a slap in the face to black people. How long you think black people gonna stand for this shit? That's what I wanna know. You know what I mean? Cause if you're waiting for us to click out, 
guess what? You're going to get what you're asking for. Eventually. Eventually. You're going to get what you're asking for. And guess what? We ain't going to give a fuck if you kill us. We ain't going to give a fuck if you kill us because y'all already been killing us. So we're going to be ready to sacrifice everything for our freedom and for our rights. You know what I'm saying? If we got to sign a bill ourselves. You feel me? So Joe Biden, do something, man. You know what I'm saying? You just can't be on here signing bills for other people. You ain't getting no reparation. You're nothing, nothing. Where's the reparation? You feel me? You was tripping. We need some reparation, bro. Sign the Asian hate deals. I thought, now we don't know if the coronavirus got over here from Asia, but all I'm saying is, it came from China, then. Where did it come from? You show sign a bunch of bills, man. You don't know. You seen a couple of videos where people, Asians getting attacked and all of a sudden just signing bills. But you see us getting murdered on live. And you just, what do you do? You just go to George Floyd uh, uh, anniversary and make a speech? Fuck your speech, man. Fuck your speech. And that's our show for today, guys. I just want to say I appreciate y'all for watching, man. I love y'all. You know what I'm saying? You already know who it is, man. Eric the Great. You feel me? You can be great. All you got to do is stop being scared and do what you want to do. You feel me? Unlock your mind. Stop worrying about what everybody going to think. You feel me? Doing it is the first step to greatness. You feel me? And that's for sure, for sure. You did. Now, uh, 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 go over to YouTube, subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you next time. You dig? I holla, man. <laughs>